In this video, we look at reactions of aldehydes, specifically focusing on oxidation. Now, we focus here on aldehydes because when we're thinking about reactions of aldehydes and ketones, which is the general theme of this unit, unlike ketones, which can't generally be oxidized, aldehydes are very readily oxidized to carboxylic acids by a variety of common oxidizing agents. So that's what we're gonna focus on here in this particular unit. And we're gonna get into some tests that we can use to assess whether a aldehyde molecule is present within a particular substance or not by using a technique called Tollens test. So we're gonna look at oxidation of aldehydes in this particular video. First off, as we are thinking about aldehyde oxidation, We keep in mind that the reason why we are able to oxidize aldehydes and not ketones is that the oxidation reaction is going to replace a carbon hydrogen bond from our oxidizing oxidative site. So that's our carbon right here is our carbon that is our oxidized carbon. Replace a carbon hydrogen bond there with a carbon oxygen bond. And in the case of starting with an aldehyde, if we carry out a generic oxidation reaction there, what happens is that that aldehyde group gets converted into a carboxylic acid by replacing the hydrogen atom here with an oxygen atom in that oxidation reaction. And so the general outcome of an oxidation reaction of aldehydes is that you will convert the aldehyde into a carboxylic acid by replacing a carbon-hydrogen bond with a carbon-oxygen bond. Now, in the case of a ketone, the reason why we can't oxidize a ketone where both of the R's here are alkyl groups is because there is no CH bond to remove. And so therefore, if we attempt to use common oxidizing agents to oxidize a ketone, the outcome of that is going to be no reaction because we don't have a hydrogen to readily replace with an oxygen in the ketone molecule. Within aldehydes, the specific identity of the oxidizing agent that we're using here is highly variable because of the fact that aldehydes are very easily oxidized. Lots of oxidizing agents will work here. So examples of oxidizing agents that will work are things as simple as bleach or sodium hypochlorite as its scientific name, chromic acid and some other chromium-6 reagents, one of which would be CrO3, as well as permanganate containing substances, permanganate being the oxidizing agent there, an example of that would be potassium permanganate, KMNO4, as well as a variety of other oxidizing agents can be used here. The outcome is the same that with the case of all of these oxidizing agents, they are all going to result in the oxidation of the aldehyde to a carboxylic acid. These oxidation reactions are examples of redox reactions where as the aldehyde is oxidized, the oxidizing agent, that is the bleach, the chromium-6, et cetera, et cetera, is reduced. So as the aldehyde gains or I'm sorry, loses electron density, the oxidizing agent is going to gain electrons and hence be reduced. So in the case of chromium-6, chromium-6 is no longer going to be chromium-6+. plus. Instead, it will gain electrons and go from chromium-6+, plus to a lower oxidation state. And so we can use that principle that when we have an aldehyde present, the aldehyde will be oxidized and the oxidizing agent reduced, 
to help us in the detection of aldehyde molecules. And that's where we get into what we refer to as Tawan's test. So let's take a look at Tawan's test. Tawan's test is what we would refer to as a qualitative test that allows us to detect the presence of an aldehyde molecule within a mixture. So it allows us to determine whether there's an aldehyde functional group in an unknown compound. So Tollens test, T-O-L-L-E-N-S. It's going to allow us to evaluate the presence of an aldehyde group in an unknown. Because sometimes you will be tasked with finding the identity of an organic molecule. And you will have tools such as NMR and mass spectrometry as potential options, but sometimes you may want something that is just a fast test to determine whether a particular functional group is present, or you may not have access to the advanced analytical instrumentation such as NMR and mass spectrometry. So Tollens test is a way to determine whether there is an aldehyde group present within an organic molecule or not. And the way that it works is that if we have an aldehyde molecule, and specifically this has to be an aldehyde, so we take our aldehyde and we react it with what's referred to as Tollens reagent, which is in the balanced equation, two silver, which has a positive formal charge and is bonded to two NH3 groups in a basic environment of hydroxide anions, specifically three of them in the balanced chemical equation for this. And this is generally done in an aqueous solution. What's going to happen is that that positively charged silver is going to gain electrons during the oxidation process. In other words, it's being reduced so that the product is silver metal, as well as in the remaining parts of the equation, we'd have four ammonia molecules generated from this, two waters, and as well, our aldehyde will have been oxidized. And it's actually oxidized since we're under basic conditions here, rather than the carboxylic acid group hanging out on our oxygen here and having an OH. Instead, it's an oxygen anion because of the fact that the base that's present here deprotonates that oxygen of the carboxylic acid and gives us this so-called carboxylic acid salt. It's a salt because it has that formal charge on it, much like sodium chloride has a chloride um, anion. This is called a salt because it has that negatively charged oxygen. So this is our overall reaction. So what's happening here in following that theme of the aldehyde is being oxidized as the oxidizing agent is being reduced. And we know that the silver is being reduced because we're going from a positive formal charge on the silver to no formal charge, meaning that it has gained electrons to lose that positive formal charge, meaning it is reduced because reduction is going to correspond to a gain of electrons, going back to your general chemistry definition of reduction. So how can this test help you to readily detect the presence of an aldehyde in a particular substance? Well, the way that it works is that there will be a detectable change in the color of this. So the initial starting silver ammonia complex, what I'm highlighting up top here, the so-called Tollens reagent, that Tollens reagent is going to, during the process of oxidizing the aldehyde, it's going to be reduced to silver metal. And there is a color difference, a pretty dramatic color difference between the appearance of Tollens reagent and the appearance of the silver. So what's going to happen is that the ion that we have up here, when it gets reduced to metallic silver, is going to go from being the starting structure to a silver mirror or silvery suspension within the final material. So what this will result in 
is a dramatic change in the appearance of the material in the container from the initial starting uh, silver ion into something that's going to have a metallic appearance. Whereas the ion does not have that metallic appearance. So it's a pretty dramatic change. And I'll show you here in an image what we are talking about when we are describing how the result of a Tollens test is generally pretty clear because it's pretty obvious and evident when this metallic appearance takes over. So what we have here is on the left, this would correspond to a positive Tollens test, meaning there was the present of aldehyde there because we can see that there is the presence of that silver, elemental silver there. And it has that very distinct silver metallic appearance that literally can look like it's coating the inside of the test tube. On the other hand, the negative result, if we had a substance that did not have an aldehyde in it, is going to maintain having that sodium ion present there, which as you can see, does not have that silver appearance about it. And so when we detect the silver appearance, that's going to indicate that our initial oxidizing agent, the silver plus, has been reduced to silver metal. And in the process of that being reduced, that corresponds to the aldehyde being oxidized. This particular oxidizing agent is specific to aldehyde groups. And so if there's a, another oxidizable group present, such as an alcohol molecule or others, it is not going to react with Tollens reagents. So there's no cross reactivity with things like hydrocarbons, which are not um, particularly readily oxidized, ethers, ketones, alcohols, all of those do not react with Tollens reagents. So it's a very specific test generally for the presence of aldehyde groups within molecules. And we could technically use this silver, um, silver ions with the ammonia as an oxidizing agent to create our carboxylic acid product out of aldehyde reactions, but generally this Tollens test is used specifically for a qualitative method to determine whether a particular substance has an aldehyde functional group present or not.